Singapore is officially in a recession. It has been reported that for the second consecutive quarter in 2020, GDP has dropped by over 40%. And you might be wondering, how does this affect you and what you can do about this? In this video, I'm going to share with you the three ways you can prepare for a recession. <music> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jasper and I help families to invest and grow their wealth automatically so that they can spend more quality time with their loved ones. You might have seen the news that Singapore's GDP has dropped by 41.2% and it's no surprise because with the coronavirus, businesses are being forced to shut down, restaurants are not open and as a result, this lockdown has affected many businesses in Singapore and globally. To be able to understand how will this recession affect you, I think one key area that we must all find out is to know how long will this recession last. And with this COVID-19 situation, it seems like it's going to continue until a vaccine is found. And many reports have said that a vaccine can only be out by at least another one or two years time. And as a result, there is a lot of uncertainty in the economy. And with the drop in the GDP and the worsening economy, it seems that businesses might be forced to cut down on their expenses such as manpower and other fixed expenses. In fact, we have already seen that there are many businesses that are closing down over the past few months. And if businesses are closing down, that means that there will be less jobs for people and your job could also be at risk. So here are the three things you need to do to prepare for this recession if you haven't done so already. And the first thing is to check your spending. Now it's a good time to really look through your spending habits, you know, cut down down on maybe things like your gym membership, your subscriptions, you know, your online shopping habits, you know, work, really working out a budget and sticking to it. The good thing is that over the past few months with the lockdown situation, we can't really go out and spend money freely. However, now that things are starting to open up, you know, do remember to track your spending and not spend on anything that's unnecessary for the time being. The second thing that you need to do is to look through your loans, liabilities and your fixed monthly commitments because if in the event that you happen to lose your job, you still need to continue continue paying for all this and that could cause you to rack up even more debt if this is not properly managed. If you're outstanding mortgages, you can choose to refinance it and hopefully get a lower repayment out of it with the current low interest rate environment and some of the fixed commitments that you're not able to reduce. For example, your utility bills, your phone bills and some of the fixed costs like food and so on. Then you need to find a way to set aside enough money so that if anything happens, you still are able to fulfill all these commitments. And the third thing you need to do is to relook at your investment portfolio because at least for the next one or two years, it is going to be very volatile. As we have seen in March, the market crashed and came back up again. But because of the uncertain economic data, we do not know what is going to happen next. So it's good to relook at your portfolio and rebalance it so that you are taking on the suitable risk. So those are the three things you need to do to prepare for a recession. Now question of the day, have you done anything to prepare yourself for the recession already and what have you done so far? Let me know in the comment section below and we'll love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this episode. Do help me to hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon to be notified of my upcoming episodes.